Hi, this is Terry from Sweet Pea Papers, and this is video two in our uh, book that is called Dragonfly Flight, and the uh, papers are by Janie B. Journals from Etsy. Now, first I wanted to show you something real quick. These are, this is called Paper Squares from SS Digital Studio. I want you to check this out. Look how many there are, and they're all these different squares. You can use them as the full paper. You can cut out, you know, like a, a cross shaped and, you know, fold it up and make something out of it. You can uh, cut each square up individually. Um, I liked this one right here and I thought maybe we could use that in this project. Look at this cool black and white one. There's some that look like wood. There's some with writing on them. Anyway, I just wanted to show it to you real quick. And, oh, I printed this out from another kit um, from Victoria Designs from their Dragonfly Journal. So we may use some of this. So I just wanted to um, show you that. These go in here. Just to give you an idea of some of the, how you can kind of mix and match stuff if you need to there's a lot in this kit so we may not need to but i really like this dragonfly pocket and um i liked this uh paper that looks like has a light thing of, of a dragonfly on it. it looks like part of a um, piece of an envelope so we'll set this to the side and here's our main kit now in this video we're just going to talk real quick in the beginning about um, I've narrowed it down to what I'm pretty sure we're going to use and uh, we're going to use a CD cover, two coin envelopes, um, one, two, three, four, seven check envelopes, uh, three of which are going to be made into our little notebook. I threw this extra one in that I had folded for a different project to go um, around the outside of a um, pocket Let's see in the back. and it would go like this and then it would give you a pocket on the back so I'm thinking we might do that and this one's looking a little raggedy so we may make a new one but I just wanted to show you this one and then it gives you a little pocket on the inside okay so we might do that so that's a maybe and um, we're going to need a, I've decided, to, oh, the CD envelope. We're going to need three business envelopes, which we're going to need to cut down a little bit. We'll do that in this video. And um, so, yeah. So now we're not going to do anything with the CD envelope until we cover it. And I'm not sure what paper I want to use yet, but I just wanted to make sure that you knew I'd finalized it down to that. So we're going to take these three business envelopes and I took a look at it and they're almost, almost the right size. You Can you see? It's not off by very much at all. Let me hold it that way, just that little bit. So I'm just going to um, cut a little slice off the end. Let's see if I can do three. My paper trimmer. I've got ours, I've got the demo, I've got envelopes everywhere. <laughs> I could tell this is going to be an organized project. How about you guys? I got these new spongies to try out for inking and um, we'll talk about that in just a second because you're going to have fun. You're going to be inking. We're gonna, I'm going to put you on pause and then you're going to spend two days inking and then when you come back we'll be ready to go on to the next part okay all right let's just cut about that much off yeah that worked i have the titanium blades so looks like maybe on this one i didn't quite get the corner which was probably more of something sliding a little bit than anything else. Okay, now that's going to make these open. So we're going to have to glue them back together. 
in my notes I wrote down two of the three but I think I think we're going to end up with them all being side pockets um, so in the interest of not forgetting let's go ahead and glue all three of them back together if we have to we can trim a smidge off uh, one of them to reopen it so you're just going to put one little bit of glue along the edge only up to there you don't want to get any of it on the flap so just up to there all right I knew it was that end I could tell by looking at it but it just wasn't didn't want to come open okay and the third one I'm a little stuffy right now so hopefully I won't sniffle too much Still trying not to get Fabrifix, Fabri-Tac, ink, ink, glue on my contact paper because it will melt it. <laughs> All right, so we've trimmed these down. We're going to take three of these and make our booklet, which we've done these before. I'm going to take one with the flap up, take another one with the flap down. Okay, this one's kind of funky looking. Do I want to use it on this? Let's see. I think just to be on the safe side. Oh, I had set aside these three anyway. I want to use this one when I'm wrapping it around something and gluing it to the back and then papering over it. So we'll set that one to the side. Okay. So you're going to have one with the opening up, one with the opening facing down. I'm going to take the paper off of the glue part. Try to keep our hand warmers out of the way even though they're supposed to be down on my hands. And then we're just going to take some glue and glue it on here. Make sure you don't go past the crease. And then just put it face down and line the crease up with the end of the other envelope is like that okay just yeah like that it still doesn't look lined up I didn't put the bigger amount that I do on there on the ends to give me sliding around time Okay, then we're going to flip it over. Yeah, that's definitely not straight, is it? Well, let's put my little schmear there and put my schmear there. there. Let's try that one more time. I have no idea why I was having trouble getting it lined up.
Oh, my finger's bleeding again. Nice. Good thing we're covering this with paper, huh? Okay. And then we're going to... take this off again I can't this is the only time I've ever had this much trouble gluing down a flap it's ridiculous I wonder if the envelope is crooked. Because it's seeming to be impossible to get it to line up because I know my eyes are not that crooked. Ta -da. I didn't think that was ever going to work. Okay, then we put the open side up. And we do the same thing. Hopefully it'll work out better. Oh my gosh. That scared the heck out of me. All of a sudden my TV came back on. So now I need to turn it down because it's got, the, I'm watching anime. <laughs> yes, I'm watching anime. I'm watching one called Baki. Which is fighters. <laughs> okay, and then that one goes like that. So now this one goes like this, that one goes like that, and it opens out like this, and you have a booklet. On one side you have one pocket, on the other side you have two, and we have some blood, which we're going to ignore, and hopefully I will be able to ink around it. Now, that's what I wanted to talk to you about was the inking, and um, it's weird, it quit bleeding. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is inking in two colors. I'm thinking of inking the paper in milled lavender and then inking around the actual envelopes, all the envelopes, yes, all the envelopes, um, inking them in uh, with bundled sage because these two colors um, match the colors in the kit really, really well. Let me get the papers out here. Because if you see on here, see there's the green and there's this color. And if you put these two colors on here, you see they go together perfectly. So I'm thinking of doing the light color around the pages and the dark color around the um, envelopes. And that'll look like grass and flowers and everybody's going to be happy. I'm going to try it on one envelope. and uh, uh, So we're going to have to also trim our papers. Um, we may not use all of them so if you're thinking you might want to use them um, in another project and you might want to print on the back of them then don't uh, trim them I'm going to go ahead and trim them all because I have a feeling that with uh, these kind of envelopes and books and all that that um, you are going to have to uh, trim them all and use at least a piece of all of them okay so that's what we were going to cover in this first part and yeah that's about 15 minutes and so I'm going to put you on hold 
so that um, I can ink all this stuff. So we're going to ink our booklet. We're going to ink um, the other three envelopes. We're going to ink our three big envelopes. And we're going to ink our book. We're going to trim our pages. Okay? So I'm actually probably going to stop the video here and I'm going to label it 2A and 2B, but you'll never know the difference because for you, it'll just be a pause and we'll be right back. And you may never see the part about where I couldn't get the envelopes to glue together because I may take that out to save time. You never know. So it'll just be an optical illusion. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys after the pause. Okay, we're back. Um, I discovered that when I was writing out the things that I wanted to do in video two that our little chat and subsequent disaster of putting the little booklet together may make this a little bit longer video. So we're going to go through it and um, see if we can get um, some of this here done. Now I've gone through and I have inked and inked and inked all of the envelopes um, except of course of the two little coin envelopes and I've also inked the CD cover which we're not going to deal with today and one of the uh, business envelopes we're not going to deal with today. Um, Let's see. Yeah, we're not going to deal with uh, with number three. Um, of course, I've gone through and I've numbered all of the envelopes. And um, I've numbered them with B's and C's. So B1 is a business envelope number one. C1 is check envelope number one because I had already gone through and numbered them all. Um, and then realized I had uh, a lot more envelopes and it would be just easier to um, tell them apart. Now I think that I am not going to ink my book. I think I'm going to leave it white and the envelopes are going to be uh, obviously inked in the bundled sage and I'm not sure about the papers. I've been trimming the papers and um, several of them are the same but with a different uh, color background where this one is more of a mint, this one's more of a turquoise and so on and so forth. That's a light blue. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do the bundled sage on the pages or not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a trial envelope um, and then uh, do it with the uh, milled lavender uh, uh, with the green and see what it looks like. It seems to me like it would look good. Um, the milled lavender should look good on here um, and the green is definitely going to look good on there. So I'm going to do a test thing. So okay, so the first thing we're going to do now that we've made our book and we've made our little um, booklet which I don't have right here because we didn't need it. Um, at this point, let me just say, we're using five check envelopes, three business envelopes, and ink, lots of ink. So we're going to trim the small pieces from the pocket pages in the book. Now, I that's this little part right here. Now, most of these are glued shut and we're going to put paper over them so you don't have to worry about them. Pages 2, 4, uh, 7 are the ones that we need to trim. So I left the um, pieces on page 2 so I could show you. You just go in here and we're going to do the same thing on all of the business envelopes and all of the check envelopes. So you're just going to go in here and you're going to cut this little part and then go on this side and you're going to cut this little part right here. 
you're going to try to do it a little bit better than that and then you're just going to cut that piece off okay and you're going to do that on all the ones that the envelope is open and that we're going to use like to put a card or something in all right so we've done that we're going to ink the um, entire book if you're going to uh, be inking the book then you are going to get out the videos which are um, or the envelopes for this which are the three business envelopes and the five check envelopes however we're not like I said going to use all three of the business envelopes but we do need to ink it and we're not going to use the CD envelope and we're not going to use the coin envelopes so those are the ones that are being set aside now we're going to um, number the envelopes so you're going to have B one two and three and then you're going to have C one through five all right so you're going to um, take the business envelopes and you're going to trim them down to the size of the book and I think we already did that and then leave one leave business envelope number one open and then when you ink this envelope ink all around the open area that's like the little window all around the window it doesn't like the window it is the window all right because we're going to slide a large writing card in here and so we're going to be able to see it through the windows so um, the first thing actually we need to do that I didn't put in my notes um, so let's do the other ones first and then we'll come back to this one if we have enough time if we don't go too long because I don't have the papers cut for that and um, we kind of need to know the papers um, the paper for the inside unless you're going to leave it like this which is the black um, hash marks um, that doesn't really match as far as I'm concerned so I'm going to uh, cover the inside so that's why I said you need to know the papers on that one the rest of them were covering so it doesn't matter so we're gonna take this yeah glue two of the three back together like we did and then make the three check envelope booklet which we did ink all the envelopes and make sure to ink around the window of the one add the business envelope with the open top to the cover of the book which that's this one and um, I think let me let me take a look here yeah because we don't want to paper it we want to um, attach this before we paper it so you know I'm not sure we will be able to use the window in this one because this is going to be too long we could use this window though which actually might be easier okay so what we're going to do is we're going to glue this envelope to the front page but we're going to glue it so that it opens this way so you're going to line it up you're going to line it up with the page then you're going to flip it open you're going to glue remember we're going to have uh, paper over this too 
So you're going to glue the flap over so that the flap is on the front cover. And then when you open to page one, your envelope is there. And it opens like so. I have the opening on the bottom. So I will glue it back together and um, we will use a different one for this project because I didn't take into account this is what happened I didn't take into account which way the envelope was going to be attached and that it was going to open this way so I didn't take that into account and so now that's why I ran into trouble because I had to put it on this way or it wasn't going to be oriented this way so I can still leave the hole or the you know the cutout to see the long card that we put in here because you'll see the bottom of the card and just depends on the pattern if you're gonna make it all the dragonflies or something then um, it wouldn't matter because you would be able to see at least this part of it and I double check and make sure then we're going to take C1 and put the paper clip away. And we're going to attach it the same way we attached B1 to the cover. We're going to attach C1 to B1. I'm going to put it in the center. I'm going to open it up. We're going to remove this little paper off the self adhesive. We're going to put glue on it. And go down over the other glue, remembering that there's going to be paper over it. So now when we open the cover, it'll have this and then it'll flip open that way, then it'll flip open that way. Okay, this side is glued shut, this side is open. And I think it's going to look alright. Oh, I'm going to need to re-ink that. And we're going to need C2. Actually, actually, we don't put one there. because that's where um, B2 is going to go. We are going to glue this one on the back just like this one is glued on to the front. sure that it's even and that it's pulled out far enough whoops and that it's pulled out far enough that you can close it easily and it lays flat then you're going to flip it over open the flap and then you're going to glue this here
and you'll notice that I have um, uh, colored this edge but I think I'm going to ink it a little bit more not onto the book though just the edge of the envelope here I just got some of these these are my first time using these sponge applicators and so I'm still trying to decide if I like them or not I got um, 18 of them and these little holders two holders like that for them um, and I got the whole thing for I believe it was nine dollars and something so I've inked the edge of that just a little bit and so now we have when we open the cover then we open this and then we open that it's all full of surprises Okay, number two is going to remain open. Actually, I believe in the original it gets glued shut. I don't, I don't believe it gets used. So we may be papering over it. Yes, because this is where the coin envelopes go as well. Or is that on the CD page? That's on the CD page, which is the next page. And it, it doesn't show using the um, pocket on this page, but I, I believe that I'm going to. So that's going to be the next one, which is going to be four. And we're going to glue C2 so that it fits in here. And we're going to center it. So we're going to open it up. We're going to put some glue on here. Now remember, we're going to be cutting pieces of paper to go in here. So make sure you keep that in mind when you're putting this in, make sure that it lays flat once you glue it in. And make sure that it's straight. Okay. So I think that that's going to look fine once you put the paper on there and, uh, and it's edged and then we have paper on top of this then um, then the green will look fine and then the um, the lavender on the bottom will be nice too. It'll look antique like those antique ones that you see. Okay so Glue check envelope C1 to B1 so it creates a flap. Glue check envelope to pockets on 2, 4, and 7. So we're going to glue one here as well. And I'm using my messed up one since we're not going to see it. Now I believe this is one that I've added in that was not in the original. And I was going to glue um, another one to um, and this one is glued so it's not going to be used and then to this I was going to add um, another small one to it like so so that it would open double just like the front does and you know even though that covers this 
window as well, I believe I'm going to go ahead and, and do it. So we're going to open this, we're going to remove the tape, and we're going to put the glue on. Looks like I need to fill my glue. I know that it's, or it started out halfway full. Okay, so we're going to do that. And now we've made the flip out. So let's go back over this. We made the envelope, cut out this part, these little pieces. See, we, we've got these on this because we're going to cover the whole thing. And then let's see. Yeah, two we're going to do the other. Okay, so that's going to be about right for time. So let's stop there. We've got our booklet. We've got some envelopes glued to our book. And um, we've got everything inked that we're going to ink. And we have to ink this edge right here and we're going to have to do the same on the back. So other than that we're all inked up. Remember if you're going to ink your book you want to do it before you add these elements on because you won't be able to um, do the green down in there. Okay everybody got that? All right well I will see you in the next video and that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Bye-bye.